Good morning students. Welcome to the third video on our chapter that we were learning the snake charmer's tale. We learned about Kalbelias, who they are, Aryanath and his grandfather. Roshan Nathji. So, let us head on to our chapter. Whenever we stopped in a village, a crowd would gather around us. So, whenever Roshan Nathji went to a new village, crowd would gather around. We would then take out our snakes from our baskets. Roshan Nathji always knew that people just came around them to see the snakes in the baskets that they had as the snakes were the main attention for the public gathering so let us learn something about snakes the cobra is most popular as a source of public amusement. Snake charmers use this highly venomous elapid species to entertain people in a very odd way. So as we can see snakes are captured by the snake charmers for public amusement even the most poisonous one everything is so strange the snake charmer sits cross-legged playing his flute and the snake in front of him sways to the sound in a standing position ready to bite but it doesn't actually standing is natural to cobra most species can rise to approximately one-third of their body length. Standing is the natural defensive position of the cobra. So what cobra does is not a dance, rather he is angry and scared and tries to protect himself. This kind of warning signal to the enemies, the scientist explains that a cobra that has been in the basket for a while will rear up its body. When it lead it is removed. This is natural response to the standard straddle snake. You think if you are captured and kept in a closed container, will you not be very angry? Will you not stand up? Also, the cobra may spread a hood. Any other, another element of the defensive posture 
by spreading its ribs located in the neck under elastic skin in a charming situation the cobra seems to be hypnotized by the pleasant sounds of the flute scientists say that the cobra cannot hear the way people do however they are very sensitive to vibrations and perhaps able to feel the music so cobra can't hear the music they rather feel the vibrations the cobra responds to sight rather than to the sound of the flute what the snake actually does is matching the movements of the snake charmer even after the show people would stay on says who do you know that's roshanath ji they knew that in our tin box there were many types of medicines for them so as we can see what roshan nath ji mentions is that they also carry a lot of medicines with them which they give to the net food in exchange of money or food items to run their living let's continue we made this medicines from plants collected from the forests as we learn in our last two video sessions that kalbelias collect herbs and plants from the forest to make medicines and the snake charmers or the saperas of kalbelia tribe carry them along with them to where they travel and pass on them to the needful peoples from long distances and even doctors came for those medicines so we can see that kalbelias were very well known for their sacred knowledge of medicines that they passed on from generation to generation can you identify what is it see carefully and observe which snake can it be yes that's a king cobra the most famous and the most feared one snake in india the king cobra is a large and powerful snake king cobra's skin is either olive green tan or black and it has faint 
pale yellow cross pants down the length of the body its belly is cream or pale yellow and the scales are smooth people treat king cobra as god in india you can ask your parents about which snake is praised as a deity in indian culture and that's your activity as you learned how to identify a cobra so be very careful cobras and specifically king cobra is very dangerous as you can see it even spits poison and throws at a certain distance on whom it feels is a threat for him or her so let us learn something from hindu mythologies let us know about nag panchmi hindu mythologies are filled with stories fables about snakes i think you also have heard one or two stories about snakes from your parents or grandparents the most important being the shesh naga of lord vishnu it is on the snake that lord vishnu reclines while sleeping in the sea thus it is quite understandable that a festival called naga panchami is observed in india as we know vishnu is one of the most praised deities of hindu culture so in respect of the shesh naga on whom vishnu sleeps the day of naga panchami is observed in india every year on the month of august so let us see more in india snakes are so revered that temples are also erected in their honor there is a particularly famous one in mysore at a place called subramania so we come to know that the temple in subramania is specifically devoted to the snake deity as you can see this is the temple of subramania made for serpent god kuku subramania so students it's time for our activity so today's activity for you will be to collect the photos of three poisonous and three non poisonous snakes paste them in your respective copies and write their names beside them and send me that it's time for questions so let's see question number 1 
which snake is used mostly by snake charmers we just learned about that hope you all can understand and answer it question number 2 where did roshan nath ji kept his medicines question number 3 how can you identify a king cobra just before a few minutes we learned about the features of a king cobra they are the identity of a king cobra so students write them down first question number 4 when is naga panchami celebrated question number 5 why is shesh naga praised we learned about hindu mythology and based on that i hope all of you have it all very clear and can easily answer this question number 6 why is shubramanya famous that was all for today's class we will learn more in our next video about snakes and snake charmers and how they live